Kia Magentis is quite popular among domestic motorists. What is the secret of its attractiveness and what can you expect from used copies of this car? Kia Magentis is built on a common platform with the Hyundai Sonata and they have many of the same basic components and assemblies. This is not surprising, after all, both manufacturers are united in the Korean concern Hyundai Kia. Magentis is a large D-Class sedan, which, in terms of size and equipment level, is very close to the lower segment of the more prestigious business class. So, for example, in many versions of Magentis you can find full-power accessories, heated exterior mirrors, seats and windshield brushes, climate control, immobilizer, light sensor, multifunction steering wheel, alloy wheels, at least six airbags, ABS and EBD systems, distribution of braking forces. Such rich equipment attracted pragmatic motorists to this model, who did not want to overpay for the image of more eminent manufacturers. They are ours. Three years after the appearance of Magentis, it underwent restyling. The front end was most seriously redesigned, thanks to the abundance of chrome on the radiator grille and elegant elongated optics, the model began to look more solid. There are no claims to the corrosion resistance of the car. Passive safety is also good, four stars out of the maximum five according to the results of the 2006 Euro NCAP crash tests. However, the quality of some car body parts can be criticized. So, sometimes there are problems with the locks of the rear doors, because of which they cannot be opened, and on post-styling versions, the front optics sweat, the chrome coating on the radiator grille peels off and the chrome lining around the perimeter of the door windows peels off. Due to the large dimensions, the Magentis cabin is very spacious, five crew members can fit inside. The front seats are flat, with poorly developed lateral support, with active driving they do not fix the body well. The quality of interior decoration is good, and there are complaints about sound insulation, see photo. Practical motorists will like a fairly roomy trunk, one of the largest among competitors. There are no comments on the quality of finishing materials, but the sound insulation is rather weak, you can hear the work of the suspension, and after 3000 RPM, also the sound of the engine. The experts who advised us noted that all units of post-styling Magentis, since 2008, are sensitive to fuel quality. They were initially configured to run on gasoline and diesel fuel that meet Euro 4 requirements. An indicator signal on the check engine instrument panel, and a diesel engine equipped with a particulate filter also has increased smoke. Considering the quality of our fuel, the Koreans officially recommend that domestic dealers flash the brains of the ECU of all Magentis engines, reconfiguring them to use Euro 3 fuel. This motor has three, and in the engines of cars manufactured before 2008, there were no such problems, they were initially configured for Euro 3. All gasoline units are equipped with a CVVT variable valve timing system and individual ignition coils for each of the candles. Motorists noted that CVVT is sensitive to oil quality, in the event of an untimely, every 10,000 km, replacement, the system valve may coke, the malfunction will manifest itself with the characteristic knock at idle. In some cases, it is possible to solve the problem by flushing. If this does not help, the valve needs to be changed. Individual coils usually serve without problems. Of the characteristic malfunctions of 2.0 liter engines, leaks of the gasket of the oil pan and front cover can be noted. In addition, for overly active drivers, after a run of 150,000 kilometers, the front crankshaft oil seal may leak. If it is not replaced in time, the leaking oil can damage the attachment pulley with a rubber damper clutch and the 2.0-liter versions with automatic transmission turned out to be quite voracious, in the urban cycle they spend about 13 liters per hundred of run. The timing of the 2.0-liter engines is equipped with a durable metal chain, and the 2.7-liter is equipped with a belt that must be changed along with the tensioner, rollers, and balancer shaft belt every 60,000 kilometers due to this feature of the V6, as well as due to the difficulties of access, the maintenance of this motor is expensive. By the way, Magentis of the last years of production was equipped with a new 2.0-liter gasoline engine, which is also equipped with a balance shaft and a belt drive. A fine mesh may appear in the polycarbonate of the protective cap of the front optics. This does not affect the tightness. After a run of 80,000 kilometers, the bolts of the silent blocks of the breakup levers of the tailgate seize with rust. To adjust the camber, the levers will have to be cut off with the grinder. Many cars are equipped with heated windshield wipers, a characteristic disease of such versions, in winter the glass often cracks. 
often the dampers of the heating ventilation system become unusable, and hot air constantly enters the cabin. There are no problems all Magentis have a drive to the front axle and were equipped with a 5-speed manual gearbox and a 4-speed Tiptronic automatic, automatic transmissions of recent years of production are 5-speed. In the secondary market, it is easy to find a version with both mechanics and automatic. All gearboxes of this model have proven to be reliable, basically they only need regular maintenance, in a manual gearbox, the oil changes every 60,000 kilometers and in automatic gearboxes a little less often, every 90,000 kilometers. The hydraulic clutch is usually trouble-free. A remark can only be made to diesel modifications equipped with a dual-mass flywheel. It often fell into disrepair after a run of 100,000 kilometers, reporting this with the characteristic knock when the clutch was engaged. The running is down and has a good energy intensity. A two-lever design is used in front, and a three-lever design is used in the back. Both suspensions are equipped with anti-roll bars. A characteristic remark for all cars is the loud work of the rear suspension in an unloaded state, and for versions in 2008 to 2009, shock absorber knock in cold weather when driving over small bumps at low speed. At the end of the release of the model, the manufacturer once again upgraded the shock absorbers, eliminating this problem. On our roads, the suspension has proven to be durable. More often you will have to change the consumables of both stabilizers. After 40 to 50,000 kilometers, the struts of both stabilizers and the rear bushings, the front serve 60 to 80,000 kilometers. After 100,000 kilometers, the silent blocks of the front upper levers become unusable, and the lower ones last twice as long. Ball valves go almost 200,000 kilometers. The weak point of the rear suspension is the silent blocks of the breakup levers, see photo. The ball upper transverse levers, on average, nurse 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and the silent blocks of the remaining levers can withstand 150 to 200,000 kilometers. In the steering with power steering, after 100,000 kilometers, the rack bushings break, fortunately, it is maintainable. Tie rods serve 80 to 100,000 kilometers, and tips, 150 to 200,000 kilometers. For trouble-free operation of the brakes, mechanics advise that when replacing the pads, it is imperative to lubricate the guides of the calipers, as well as regularly use the handbrake, otherwise, the braided cable will seize with rust, after which it needs to be replaced. Kia Magentis attracts pragmatic motorists with a good car cost-slash-equipment level ratio, a spacious interior and a roomy trunk. The 2.0-liter versions, gasoline and diesel, with a manual transmission are great for the role of a family car, but the presence of an automatic will upset you with high fuel consumption. In general, there are no serious comments on the reliability of this model, and the identified problems will not require significant capital investments from the new owners.